moments whatsoever. You know, these really are the best moments of installs like these when, against all the odds, you actually end up getting old software to run on hardware it was never meant to run on. Finally, it booted into the system, and what an incredible sight. This iMac is officially running any natively. Hmm. Huh. That seems like a fun idea. Wonder if I can get this guy to run Emmy. Well, let's try it. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This has been making this been making this one for a while. Um, you may have seen first of all that was Matt KC's adventure, if you will, for making Windows Me run on his iMac. I decided, eh, why not? So today we're gonna Try and put Windows Emmy on this Mac. First of all, this is a freeze frame. But anyway, um, what I do in after the opening doesn't work at all. So instead, next day I decide to try something else, which does work. It's what you'll see. So it's a bit off, but it works a lot better, which is why I'm keeping it. So you won't see the fail as it doesn't work and it's kind of bad. Um, but you will see the list and all that. I know the steps of how to actually make this work. So, here it is. Whatever I did last time didn't work. However, I have formulated a perfect plan on this sheet that should work to that should allow us to install. So, according to my checklist, what we do first is format the drive in FreeDOS to remove everything, one partition. My EFI shenanigans last time were not correct. Yes. Windows. Now what we do is we boot just from the live environment, because we don't need to install it just yet. Yay! OK, now we're just uh, F disk. FSK. I can spell. Yes. Mm, pardon me. Delete primary. Yes. So now you want to create a partition. Create a primary. No. You want to make one two uh, two gigabytes, which is two thousand twenty thousand megabytes. Now we're going to make the partition active. Now we need to restart. Okay, now we format C drive. Yes. That's fine. Window. Uh, whatever. Done. That's correct. Now. Now, now, now we can install MS DOS. Yes, now. Next, next, next. Continue. Hold on, all right. My checklist it is do not redo. Okay. No. Next. Yes. DOS. No add on. Next. Okay. Still don't know the difference between the full installation and the non full installation is, but. Uh -huh. Yes, we need this. No. No. Click, click. Continue. Continue. Okay. Yes, now you want to restart. Now you boot into Ubuntu. Which I hopefully have on these USBs. Just kidding, no we don't. First we shut it down. And then we add 8 gigabytes of RAM. Because 1 gigabyte isn't enough. I have 1 gigabyte for DOS and Windows Me. And now we have 9 gigabytes. So Ubuntu will run just a bit faster. Okay, now we're finally here. Right? Yes. 
Now, we don't need to do anything special with this. We just need to do click on Windows. I'm going to drag this. Can I do this? I can. Nice. Windows. And I need to unplug this one. Aha. And then untitled, which is where all my things are stored. Shush. Cool. Here's our partition. Here's our not not partition. Now we want to basically take 9x, bring it over here. I think it's copying. Match, bring that over here. Along with XMGR. Now we should have files in here. Yep, there's our setup files. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now we want to change the config.sys to just be there. Oops, forgot about that. To just be device equals C colon slash XMGR dot sys save and that's it that's all we have to do we have to add our setup files just add our ram driver and then make sure that i actually added the batch file here so you don't have to because keyboard doesn't allow it this isn't this moving isn't allowed yet cool and that's it for this now we restart huzzah now Notice that, that's important, that means that RAM driver worked. Now we do cd9x, win9x, here. This will be able to set up, oops. These are thingamabobs. Set up, basically, what we want to do is do set up. We want to do dash is, dash iv. This one is going to... Skip scan disk, not just leave your balls. This will use the safe um, things and. And am I forgot? And NM does processor detection. However, I'm stupid. I forgot to move the RAM. Again, so power off. Take out the RAM. Power off. Okay, now with the remove, now we can do setup dash is. This will skip the uh, scan disk. This will remove the billboards. This will do safe um, hardware checking. I think it will skip it, I think. And this one will bypass processor detection, which should also help. If I do cd win 9 x it'll help. Setup dash is dash iv dash pa dash nm. And hopefully, it should just go. Yes, nothing here. Now it's going. I'm going to reset the recording, and this will probably be a time lapse for you. Kind of an income poop, so I guess you don't restart. It's been a little bit. Um, on. I guess we just boot back or something. Maybe, maybe we wait after this. Um, maybe wait after the second boot. Don't let me know. The answer is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huzzah! Let's go! Nice. Okay, nothing, no there yet. But we're here. That's all that really matters. Is that mouse? No mouse. <laughs> that happened once before. I don't remember what I did. I believe we restart because we can't hit any keys here. So I think we just restart here. Um...
Um, okay, I don't remember what I did here. No, I think we restart again. Yeah. I don't actually remember, but I know if we hold down. Because I've gotten it where you can actually like type it signing in. But. Okay, let's try this instead. What if I go to safe mode? Well, you hold down F8 to do that. After boot. Saw. Safe mode. We got it. Let's go. Yes, it's fine. Please, I just want to finish this video. Take a thumbnail and leave. I think it's loading because it's first time. Oh, hey, we're here, guys. No. Let's go. Okay. Here's a experience. To say the least, um, I mean, it's Windows Me, there's not really much you can do. Um, I won't try and get drivers because I don't really want to go back to Ubuntu. Um, but hey, what do you know? It's Windows Me. There's not really a point. But hey, technically, hold on, where is it? It's Technically, it's Windows Me running natively on a MacBook Pro, and that's successful. So, thanks for watching. Honestly, pretty quick video. Quick. Um, worked surprisingly well. And I'm just surprised it at least boots in the safe mode. So, like, subscribe, all those things, um, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Later.